Let's talk about Cruz, <laughs> Ted Cruz. So even the worst of mankind can do something right every now and then. Let's take a listen to uh, Ted Cruz. And to those listening, please don't stay home in November. This is him speaking at the RNC. He's getting a round of applause. Don't stay home. If you love our country and love your children as much as I know that you do, stand and speak and vote your conscience. <gasps> vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. Oh, man. Ted Cruz said vote your conscience and uh, yeah so i mean obviously he went to say vote for donald trump um and of course every every speech is screened pre-screened and he presented them a speech that said um he was going to say vote for donald trump and he got up there and did not do it and he did what he believed was right now you got to consider some things donald trump gave ted cruz some bruisings in this primary i mean he talked about his wife he talked about he called his wife basically called her ugly he talked about his father he talked about him i mean he, he donald trump gave this guy a thrashing and to see um that he didn't roll over uh, and play a good puppy um that he actually had ted cruz has some backbone that takes some nerve that takes some nerve to get up there um and so it got so bad that uh his wife had to be escorted out of the convention um immediately after his speech because um they were fearing for her safety that's how crazy it got and he was not allowed to return into the, um, I guess, their equivalent of the green room where all of the uh, dignitaries and speakers were gathering. He was not allowed to return in there. Um, and many people feel like this is because he's positioning himself to run in 2020. Uh, I, I, obviously, because if Donald Trump loses, then there's going to be another primary coming soon. And he wants to be able to show that he resisted um, even if it's passively aggressive, you know, passive aggressively or whatever, the, you know, you guys tell me after the show how I say it correctly. Um, even though he resisted Donald Trump, because, I mean, the entire party has given themselves over to Donald Trump's insanity. And there's just a few holdouts of people who say they will not be a part of it. John Kasich, the Bush family and Ted Cruz. Um, and so even someone who I think is worse than the the film that fell on his mouth and swallowed in the debate, I think he's more disgusting than that. Even him, even he had a moment last night that was honorable and he took it on the chin and uh, and he bore it. So uh, let me play this last little bit of them booing him, though, because it's always good to see Ted Cruz get booed. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless the United States of America. <laughs> and he's still waving. 